Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and it is Sunday morning and it is time to get dinner ready and let's see what we have. Today we are going to have salmon patties over yellow rice and I am using the Bumblebee Pink Salmon. It's the tuna style and water um, and also says that it is skinless and boneless. So I have four of those and you guys know my favorite, my yellow Mahatma yellow rice. So that's it guys, that's, that's pretty much all we need for the salmon patties. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know what we were gonna be cooking today. Let's get to cooking. Okay guys, I'm back and I just wanna show you how I make my little quick salmon patty mix. All right, I've got all four cans of my uh, salmon uh, drained. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour those in. We'll dump them in. All right, make sure I get all my all my stuff all right we're gonna go ahead and dump all four cans in quick, quick and easy guys quick and easy all right i don't like all that extra juice it just makes it more watery and you definitely want to get rid of that you don't want you don't want that in your mix because it'll make your mix even more loose and more wet you know harder to stick together so we don't want that, so that's why, that's why I drain mine. And you know what? Um, I've seen this done where people get fresh salmon and um, chop it up. I've seen it done like that. All right. And I just kind of break the chunks up, you know. You make sure you guys can see. Yes, you can see. Bring you in a little bit. All right, good. Yeah, so. I just kind of take my fork and break up those little, ch those big chunks, you know. Just break them all up. Because, you know, it's been sitting in the can, so. Break those chunks up. Alright. Looking good. Alright, so let's just go ahead and add everything. I mean, you guys, I, I mean, I just normally, when I do this, I just add, you know, just adding off the top of the head, no recipe, but um, I'll try to give you guys measurements, so, because I know some people like measurements. Alright, uh, I'm going to throw in a little paprika. Only got a little bit of left, a little bit, a little bit. I only have a little bit left in this uh, container, so I'll go ahead and pour all that in. And that is about a teaspoon no, that's a half a teaspoon of paprika. Throw that away. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Half a teaspoon of garlic salt, guys. I don't want it too salty, so I'm just going to do half a teaspoon. I don't want it too salty. All right, half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Half a teaspoon of paprika. I mean, you you know what? Season it how you like it. I'm just showing y'all what I do. All right. And I've got chopped onions. I'm going to do one tablespoon of chopped onions. You, can chop on you know what? I'm going to do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of chopped onions. All right. Two tablespoons of chopped onions, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of uh, salt, garlic salt. And y'all know, I gotta add my parsley. So I'm only gonna add, you know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one full, yeah, one full tablespoon. One full tablespoon of my parsley. Y'all know I gotta have it. All right, and I have my mayo. Any mayo you want to use, I've got the Hellman's Light Mayo. Let me scoop this over a little bit so y'all can see. Okay. All right, I've got the Hellman's Light Mayo. I'm going to do, actually, let me do my breadcrumbs first because I don't want to put that mayo in then. So I'm going to do one fourth cups of breadcrumbs. One fourth cup of breadcrumbs, guys. One fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, we've got the one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And now it's time to do our one fourth cup of mayo. Can't really fit my thing in there, but let me use this to dig it out. All 
All right, we got it. One fourth cup of mayo. All right, so we got all that. All right, guys, I like to clean as I go. Okay, so we got all that good stuff in there. Go back over it real quick with you guys. You know, just some simple measurements that I use. I mean, nothing fancy. Um, I've got the four cans of the drained salmon already in there. I've got one tablespoon of paprika, you know, to make it pretty. Um, I've got one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Any breadcrumbs you want to use, I'm using the Publix original breadcrumbs. I'll show you guys. Just the uh, Publix original bre breadcrumbs, guys. Nothing fancy. One fourth cup of breadcrumbs. One fourth cup of mayo, any type of mayo you want to use. I'm using the Hellman's Light Mayo. Um, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Um, I did two tablespoons of chopped onions. I mean, you can do the fresh onions if you want. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I, I always use those chopped onions that I just showed you and the garlic salt. All right, that's it, y'all. I'm just gonna show y'all. I'm just gonna mix it all together. Make sure you get it all nice and mixed real good. Get that mayo mixed in there. Nice. Grilled salmon patties. Well, you know, we're gonna put them in a the frying pan, but we ain't gonna have no grease or nothing like that. Y'all, let's see what I do. Just gonna put them in the frying pan and grill them. Put a little spraying oil, my famous, y'all know I love my canola oil. Go ahead and spray the pan and put them in there. Get this all nicely mixed. Looks good. Nothing to it, nothing special, nothing fancy. Just mix it all up, guys. Smells delicious. Oh, smells so good. I can't wait to cook them. And then you just lay them over that yellow rice. Whatever rice you want. White rice, yellow rice, brown rice, purple rice, pink rice. <laughs> Whatever kind of rice you want. All right. Okay. We got it all mixed up, guys. We got it all mixed up, so. All right, and that's our mix, guys. That's our mixed. And when I come back, guys, uh-oh, all out of, okay. All right, so when I come back, guys, I'm gonna show you real quick how I just, and only, I mean, only thing you're gonna do is um, get some breadcrumbs. I'll show you guys. I'll be back to show you guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys, just wanted to come back and show you how I form my little, my little, um, patty meat looking but kind of serve, they look like meatballs a little bit so let me show you guys i don't want to make them too big i mean you make them whatever size you want so i sprayed my hand with oil you know so that way it doesn't stick to my hand so forming the meatballs it's kind of like what they look like guys meatballs that's just this is just how i do mine this is how i do mine and i put it down in the breadcrumb like that and this is breadcrumbs, guys. I put breadcrumbs down there. All right. Shaping them like little meatballs. Okay. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook. Cook them so you guys can see how it looks. A little bit more oil on my hand. See, and the oil on your hand helps you shape them too, you know? That way you're not pulling them apart while you're trying to shape them. So, all right. So, I've got three done. Let me wash my hands real quick here. And we'll go ahead and get them cooked. 
All right, let's see. Okay, so. All right, so you guys see you got the breadcrumbs at the bottom. I've got the bottom part has breadcrumbs already. So, let's go ahead and take them over so we can cook them. Let me get my heat going over here. Okay, I've already got my oil in my pan. You guys, here's just like little, little balls. Little meatballs. All right, so let's take them over. Let me get you guys set up over here. You guys can see the pan. And I've got the yellow rice already done over there, guys. The yellow rice is completed. All right, zooming y'all in. Zoom, zooming y'all in. Okay. All right, y'all can see. I think it's hot enough. No, not quite. Give it another second. Um, and yeah, I usually do about this size. That way I can, you know, put like three in a pan at a time, you know? So. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to roll. I roll my little balls in the breadcrumbs. Just roll them around in the breadcrumbs. It's what I do. Just a little trick. It's what I do. Roll them around in your breadcrumbs. Just roll them around. The breadcrumbs on the outside is going to help um, give you that little brown crust. You know, like the little brown toasty crust on the outside. So, that's what that does. Just a little trick. Alright, so we've got them all rolled around. Okay, so. Let's put them down. See, I can fit like three at a time in my frying pan. Wash my hand again real quick. You guys see them? Not just mash them down like that, guys. I just mash them down softly. them down cut our heat down I like making like little little cute little patties some people make bigger ones but I like making them like this smash them down and I give them time to get nice and brown on that other side over there you know You guys are seeing them. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fresh salmon. It smells so good. Let me show you guys the rice real quick while those are cooking. Because we've got that yellow rice all done. Smoking hot. Looking delicious, guys. That's that yellow rice. I love that, my hot, my yellow rice. I love it. Bring my pan a little bit more. See if it's time to flip them over. Yep. Time to flip them over. Uh-oh. Come on and flip. Okay. This one's being difficult, but okay. I like smashing them down. All right, guys, didn't want to make it a long video, but hey, that's it, guys. The other side's going to brown, and what I'll do is I'll lay down my rice, and I'll take, um, like, maybe two or three of the um, the salmon patties. I'll just lay it over the rice, and sometimes I'll just chop it up in the rice. It is delicious, guys. It's delicious. All right, guys, those are the salmon patties. You know I did it because you've seen me do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Don't forget, guys, knowledge, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.